something I've mentioned before, probably too frequently, is I'm a very big fan of the Christmas Carol. I love Dickens' novella. I love watching adaptations. I'm always looking out for versions of the film or versions of the story in film that I haven't seen. And it occurred to me that I hadn't seen the 1935 version. This is directed by Henry Edwards, written or adapted by H. Fowler Muir. And we have Seymour Hicks as Scrooge and Donald Calthrop as Bob Cratchit. And I thought I'd give it a watch. And I have to say, it's never going to be my favourite version. But I thought it was pretty decent. It follows the story quite closely, if you're unaware for any reason. Scrooge is, or A Christmas Carol, is about Ebenezer Scrooge, who is a very grumpy bar humbug man who is stingy with his money and doesn't believe in the merriment of Christmas. But to show him the error of his ways, he is visited by three spirits, referred to as ghosts in the film, the ghosts of Christmas past, present and future, and they show him, well, Christmas's past, present and, and future to encourage him to rectify his ways. And the story is always so beautifully told, and this is absolutely no exception. And I think it's really lovely. It's the In terms of the quality of the actual film, given the age of it, I think it's pretty good. Obviously, the special effects with the ghosts and things aren't quite as what they are. Even in versions of A Christmas Carol, not that many years after this one, so it's not the most visually appealing of all the ones I've seen, and I don't think it was very atmospheric. Often with the ghosts, there's quite a an intense, scary feeling, even especially with Marley. I always love to see how they do um, Jacob Marley scenes, but in this one, I just didn't feel like it was quite as atmospheric. I think when people were happy, it wasn't quite as happy and over enthusiastic as a lot of other versions are, and I really like that. I like when we have the extremes of emotions portrayed, and it just it felt a little bit more middle ground, a little bit less um, well, less extreme, which. If that's what you like, that's absolutely fine. But my favourite versions of A Christmas Carol are the ones where the dark scenes are really intense and the joyous scenes are really joyous uh, and, and full of merriment and happiness. And I just feel like this was a little bit more of a, um, a calmer, a tamer version. Um, the acting, absolutely no problems at all. Casting is very good. Um, no issues there whatsoever. I don't think anybody stood out to me as being worthy of mention. Sometimes with these plays or these films, um, you know, a certain character will stand out. Not so much here. None of the spirits really stood out to me as being particularly fascinating, um, which is fine. It doesn't mean it's bad. It just means that there wasn't really anything about this film that would make it ever be one of my favourites. To this effect, I don't think I'd ever watch it again. If I'm in the mood to watch A Christmas Carol, if I'm not watching a new version or a version I haven't seen, then there are about five or six other ones I'd pick before this one. That aside, I would recommend it. If you're a fan of A Christmas Carol, if you love the story, if you're like me and always looking for versions that you've not yet seen, the 1935 Scrooge is definitely worth a watch. It's about an hour and 15, an hour and 20 minutes, and it's good. I liked it. It's a nice way to visit the story in a, in a new way if you haven't seen it, but it, it's definitely not going to be a favourite.